Hey guys, this is Eric44, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of new spoilers that have recently come out for Cons of Tarkir. Now, when the spoilers were, were revealed, a lot of hype was built up beforehand for many valuable cards. I shouldn't say many. The Fetchlands. And, well... The rumors are true. They really came out. So, we're going to get right into it and I'm going to show you some of, mostly they're, they're just rares. I'm going to show you some of my favorites that have been spoiled most recently. So, we have Anafenza the Foremost. It's white, black, green for 4-4. Four, four. When it attacks, you put a plus one, plus one counter on a tapped creature and it also exiles opponent's cards. Seems very good. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see because um, we don't know a lot of the things in the set. So a lot of these we can't take for what they really will be. The set has only been spoiled, uh, I think, about a fifth of it. I think it's at currently 52 cards out of 250. So, yeah. The next one is Narset Enlightened Master. Three blue, red, white for its cost. And it's a 3-2 with first strike. Hexproof, and when it attacks, you get cast. You, you take the top four of your deck, and you can cast those for free on that turn. I really like it. it just sounds like a brand new general to me. The next one will be Sidisi. Cause one black, green, and blue for a three-three. When it attacks and comes in or comes into play, you mill yourself, and then you make tokens based on that. That's one of those ones we're gonna have to wait and see what else comes up in the set because that seems just a little bit much to have to constantly mill yourself and only get tokens so I'm willing to bet those colors in this set are gonna have a lot more support for the grave next up we have Zergo a card that was spoiled I think it was the first one spoiled because it's in the, in the next dual deck speed versus cunning he costs two red white black for a 7-2 has haste has to attack every turn, indestructible on your turn, so that's not always, that's not a bad thing he has to attack. And when he does damage to something that dies in that turn, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. Unfortunately, at the moment, we have none for the green, blue, red, but that should come out soon, as far as legendaries. Under the Planeswalkers, we have Sarkon, he costs three red and red for a four loyalty. And you get his plus one. He becomes a 4 4 creature that nobody wants to deal with. It looks just insanely powerful like that. Minus three. He does four to a creature. Pretty straightforward. Minus six. You get an emblem where every, every turn you draw an additional two cards, but at the end you have to discard your hand. Little liffy on that one. When, I, when I'm playing, I'm probably just going to make him a 4-4 every turn. Then we have Soren. Costs 2, white, and a black. 4 loyalty. You do his plus 1. Attackers that you control get plus 1, plus 0, and lifelink on that turn. Looking forward to that. It's, a, it's like his emblem from the last black and white one, but not as permanent. Next one is minus 2. You get a 2-2 two, two flying token. Straightforward. Minus six, emblem opponents have to sacrifice a creature every turn. Because, you know, that was never a big, that, that was never playable when they had printed um, back in New Phyrexia. Can't think of the name at the moment. Uh, legendary creature, black, make them sacrifice every turn. Anyway, on to the fetch lands. These were printed over a decade ago I believe and they've been super expensive because of modern they there are five of them in this set and what you do is you pay one and for we'll say the white blue one you pay one life you go get a plains or an island comes into play that's it so expensive because you can play it on turn one and it's either or whatever you need right then and there very very good and that's why in modern 
all of those lands are 50 plus dollars. So it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. There you have it guys. That's all I have for you at the moment. I'm not going to fill it with a ton of random commons. I will have more up for you as soon as they spoil it. And uh, once I run out of rares to do, I'm going to start uh, looking at the commons and uncommons and, you know, what I think would be good in standard and especially in draft. I love to do a draft. So, you know, that's, uh, that's all I got. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and you have a great day.